What up, y'all? This is Marco Polo, and you're checking out MP on the MP. Bye. So welcome to MP on the MP. It's a new series I'm going to start. Basically, I feel like I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, but people seem to be receptive to some of my productions. So in certain episodes, I'm going to get real specific about things that I do, whether it's bass lines, a whole episode on bass lines, a whole episode on adding sounds when a beat's almost done and you're like, oh, I need a horn, you know, and then I go to my stash and I figure it out to drums to maybe even fucking hi-hats. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get real specific for you production nerds and hopefully it helps you out so check it out today we're going to talk about bass lines uh straight up i am not a music theory person when i started making beats i had no idea about tuning uh melody how to you know make certain tones work with certain beats it was all a learning process i gotta shout out my brother shallow who taught me a lot of shit about making beats but over the years, I've definitely learned a couple things about bass lines and how to write them, how to not get in the way of a sample. And I made a beat yesterday, which I thought was appropriate to show today. Right now, I'm in master ace beat mode because we're thinking about working on some new stuff. So I made something yesterday I thought was super dope with a, with a funky bass line. So let's get into it. Of course, you know I got the pad time musical sounds in effect. They always come in handy for me when I need extra sounds, especially on this beat. That was just a two bar piano loop. I need to add some sound, so. And there she is right there, the bass. Uh, this particular bass tone is called Smoke Bass. It's in Pad Thai Volume 1. Um, I used it on the song with Torre off the Double Bear album called Smoke very short in length pause but very plucky warm sticky i love it it's got good low end uh and i thought it would be appropriate for this beat which i'm going to play real quick so you guys can hear it What a shit show that could be sometimes. When I first started making beats, I did not know how to tune bass. My bass lines were out of tune. I didn't understand the concept. Granted, another side note, I'm working in MPC 2000 Excel mode. So the things that I do here might not apply to whatever you use, but the principles and what I do, you could definitely do in your situation. So to simplify, the first thing I'm gonna do now that I have my bass tone, just load it as is, whatever. I don't know what the tuning is. But I'm sure it's not in two of my beats. So the first thing I'm going to do is put the bass up loud. The bass is super loud right now. And I'm going to solo the musical element of the beat, which is just the piano for now. Okay? So it's on track three. Okay, I'm going to put the bass up even more because you really got to hear it. So right now the bass sound is as original, the, the tune, whatever I had in my kit, cause it's from Pad Thai, I just loaded it as is. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put it up loud, like I said, and I'm gonna play the piano loop. So as you can hear, the bass is completely it's just there, it's not in tune. So what I'm gonna do, now however this applies to your setup, you figure it out. But I'm gonna put it on 16 levels, okay? Which is basically the MPC world for turning the bass into a keyboard. For the most part, since I started making beats, shouts to Shiloh from the drum majors uh, who taught me this trick too, is I take the 
the highest note, right? Now forget about the low notes. That's where it's going to be tricky, especially if you have a hard time tuning bass. I'm going to find the highest tone and I'm going to tune it with my ears to the best of my ability to the piano loop until it feels right. in the place I tuned it up 30 notches uh, just using my ear until it felt right I'm gonna play it again now I don't know the theory but people always say when you have your bass line you want to find the root note right then the root note of the music that's playing and right now I feel like I'm close to it or essentially the first bass note you would play on the one right So I'm in a good place. I definitely found the general tuning of at least this patch of bass notes where I feel comfortable. Now granted, every pad I hit here is not going to be in tune. You're going to have to figure out the ones using your ears uh, that fit. Okay, so that's my tuning trick right there. I, f I feel like with the higher frequencies for people that don't know tuning, it'll be more helpful to you because it's a higher note, it's easier to hear than focusing on getting the low note. Like I said, there's no rules to bass tuning. The, the Something like a piano loop, especially this one, the tuning is changing as it plays. So you might hit a bass note and it'll be in tune for like the first two beats and then it falls out of tune. So you're just going to have to do your best. But my basic advice to you is find the highest note of the bass and, and tune it to the sample really high because then you can tune it back down and you know you're in the ballpark. Okay, that's step one. <laughs> Step two, filtering, okay? Whatever you use to make beats will definitely have a filter process. Um, every beat is different in terms of how you're gonna filter bass. Sometimes you're gonna want that subby feel. Sometimes you're gonna wanna hear more of the mid-range, the, the top end of the bass. It's really a preference thing and what's appropriate for the music you're doing. I often pick the wrong bass tone and then I email the beat to Shallow and he's like, get a warmer bass. And I'm like, go fuck yourself. But he's usually right. So right now I felt like this tone was the one to use. So what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna filter. almost forgot another little useless trick. Now you might be laughing at some of this shit I'm saying, but really for people that don't know theory, some of these tricks might be actually helpful. And one of them is if I don't know what notes to play or I'm confused, I hear a sample and I want to, you know, figure out what are the appropriate notes, even if I'm writing a simple bass line, if you have a sample, sometimes if you filter the sample down, you can hear the natural low bass notes and they're way easier to hear. You can actually hum it if you hear when turn it up. Now for me I find it really helpful sometimes if I don't know the notes is to filter the sample down. Just some dumb shit but it's helpful for me. My tags out of my shirt? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to my homies at Native Instruments for always showing me love. And I'm going to give away one of my favorite basses to use uh, in contact. Uh, and that is the Scareby Rickenbacker bass. I'm sure a few producers will be pissed that I blew up the spot on that one. But I don't care if it helps you. Super dope bass to use. It can sound live. You can filter it down. Weezy, you want to come over here and show the screen real quick on some gorilla shit of what it looks like? You got all the presets here, it's all types of ones. Even the one, the first one that comes up is fire. I like Tweed, man. That's my favorite. The dope shit about this is you could tweak shit by clicking on the guitar, 
there's all sorts of uh, fancy things. You can go to the amp and change the, I so guess, the amp. So here, check it out. I'm going to show you all my trick real quick. If you click on the guitar okay. body, and you see the two little options there, it says volume and tone. If mm -hmm. you take that tone knob and you turn it all the way to the left, uh -huh. that's going to take out the pluck. Oh, wow. Now that's like, you're going to have to find the sweet spot, but if you turn it up just a little bit, you get the body back. Drum majors in the building, I just learned something new. Turn the tone down. Yeah, bitch! Alright. Alright, let me play the fucking beat. Let's do this. Fuck all this talking shit, I'm gonna play the beat. Hit that shit! In Spanish, it means we will find the love. So thanks for hanging out with me. Hopefully you took something from that when it comes to bass lines and picking the right bass sounds and writing a bass line. Uh, that particular bass sound is in Pad Thai Volume 1, which you could cop at MarcoPoloBeats.com. Shameless plug. Uh, it's a great bass sound that I use a lot. Um, it was on the original song Smoke with me and Torre off the Double Barrel album. Stay tuned for more episodes. We're going to have a good time. I'm going to you know, babble about shit and hopefully you take something from it. Peace.